Hey guys, so today I have for you my Jopa Minerals blush and lip swatches video for you. I'm just going to do the blush samples on my hand. I'll do a close up of the blush, then I'll do like a swatch, and then I'll do a blended in swatch for you. And then for the lips, I'll do a close up of the lip product. I'll do a swatch on my hand as best I can. Sometimes these are pretty sheer. And then I'll do them on my lips as well. So if you are interested in some of the colors from Jopa Minerals, either their blushes or their lip twists, and then just keep watching because I have a good amount of each product. I've got, I have 10 blush colors that I can show you and I have 8 lip twist colors. So if you have been interested in any of these colors and you would like to see a better swatch than what the website gives, then just keep watching. The first blush is Aloha, which is described on the website as a more pink toned blush. Um, for me, it definitely is very hot pink and uh, this is one of my favorite shades for over the summer. So here it is swatched and then blending a little bit. The next blush is Cabernet, which is described as a medium dark red shade with bronze highlights. This is definitely a very dark red color. You have to be careful when you swatch this one. Next we have Sherbert, which is described as a true coral with golden undertones. This one is definitely a very pretty coral br uh, blush. It does look a little bit matte, but it's more, it's a little bit sheeny. It's not totally matte. Next we have Pink Lemonade, which is a light shade of pink with a pearl sheen. Uh, this one doesn't get used as much, just because I think in the t the container it looks a little bit darker than it really is, but once you blend it out, it's actually very, very pretty. And next we have Raspberry Ice. This one doesn't have a description on the website, but it is definitely a lighter pink. It's got the same tones as Aloha, but it's definitely a lighter shade. And this has become one of my favorites for the winter, because it's not too bright, but it's not you know, two not there either. So this one's definitely very pretty. And here I have a comparison. There's Aloha on the left and then Raspberry Ice on the right. So you can see the differences between the two. Next is Tickle Me Pink, which is a shimmery soft pink blush with slightly golden undertones. This is one of my favorites as well. It's a, I would, I say it's a, like a dark rose color. It's definitely a very pretty blush. Here is Delightful, which is a blend of plums and pinks with a shimmery golden undertone. This one is sort of reminds me of Cabernet a little bit because they're both very red and dark. Here is Michaela, which is a medium brick red with golden undertones. This one almost looks a little bit more brown, I think, once it's um, blended in a little bit. It's because it's very dark, but it is very pretty as well. Next we have Blushing Bride, which is a soft brown with a pink sheen. This has also become one of my favorites for the winter. It's a very neutral, natural color. Once you put it on and blend it in, it's almost like you're not wearing any blush, but you just have like a natural blush. This is definitely one of my favorites. And last we have Hush, which is a plum, copper, and bronze color. This definitely is very purple, so if you like purple blushes, this one is a good color. It's very pretty as well.
And now onto the lip swatches. The first one we have is Cappuccino, which is a medium brown with a shimmer. If you like brown lip shades, this one is definitely one that you would like. Next we have Cotton Candy, which is described as a sassy pink with shimmer. This is definitely very baby pink. Um, if you like pinks or baby pinks, you well, this would definitely be a good one. I don't think it works that well on me, but someone will like it. And here we have Dazzle, which is described as a beautiful, bold bronze with slight rose. I think this one definitely it has some bronze notes in it, but definitely is a little bit orange as well once it's applied. And then we have Namaste, which is a classic gloss with little color but shine. It looks almost like cantaloupe color in the tube, but once you get it on, it's definitely more of like a gloss with maybe just a tiny bit of color, but it's definitely like a gloss, which is really pretty. Next we have Melon Crush, which is a semi-sheer iridescent melon color. It looks like a light pink and it's almost like Namaste where it swatches a little bit like pink, but once you get it on, it's, it's definitely more glossy than color. And here we have Katie Rose, which is a dark rose with a high gloss color. It's definitely very pretty in the tube and swatched it also is very pretty and I actually like this one on as well. It's definitely, it's dark. If you like dark colors, you'll like this one, but it is very pretty. Here we have First Love, which is a medium rosy red with lots of shine. This is more of like a brick red to me, and I apologize for the lip swatch of it. It was out of focus and I didn't realize it, so <laughs> there it is. But um, this one's pretty too. I, I, have, I bought this one in a full-size tube. And lastly, we have Sarah, which is a soft coral with slight pearl shimmer. I like this one. I think this one is very pretty. It's a very neutral shade, which could be worn for any occasion.